Okay, I just made my packing list for lovers and friends. Um, if you are not going, just keep scrolling, keep swiping. But if you're going, um, I had a lot of people ask me like what to expect, what to bring. So I jotted down some stuff for you guys. Looks like the weather is going to be fabulous. It's like a high of 75. It's going to be partly cloudy. They're even saying a chance of rain. Um, so it's going to be very comfortable, if not like on the cooler side. That's great because last year it was 110 degrees and people were dropping like flies from heat strokes. So um, that's going to be much more comfortable for us this year. And they also changed up a lot of the rules to make us more comfortable. Last year they did not allow re-entry. This year they are allowing it so you can leave and go back to your hotel to eat lunch, eat dinner, um, change clothes, grab a jacket, whatever whatever you want, take a nap. They're also allowing us to bring in a refillable water bottle. Last year, water bottles were not allowed for some weird reason. That's why when we all joke about liquid death, like it's not, like it's, it's not a joke. Like it, it, it literally saved our lives last year. Water bottles, um, I think it said that it has to be empty. It has to be plastic and no bigger than 32 ounces. They're only allowing one water bottle per guest. And then this year they're gonna have plenty of shade for us because there was no zero shade for us last year. So that's gonna be great. I did not have any internet access on the fairgrounds. My phone basically did not work when I was there. So I would assume that you will not have internet access. I would assume that you will not be able to text people. You will not be able to have much communication at all while you're at the festival. I don't know, other people might have not had any issues with their phones, but for me and my friends, our phones were basically useless while we were there. I remember Friday night before the festival, I like ran into all these friends and I was like, hey, like I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Like text me when you get there tomorrow. I didn't see a single one of them that day. I didn't see anyone because the text would take like three or four hours to get through. So it was like, it was pointless. We, I didn't get to meet anyone that I was supposed to meet while I was there, which was kind of sad. But so I want you to know that so that if you are planning on meeting someone there, make sure you have like a really good meeting spot, meeting time, stuff like that. Because your phone is gonna be searching for service the entire time, your battery is gonna get eaten up. If you are the type of person that likes to take a lot of photos, take a lot of videos, then your phone battery is definitely gonna die. So um, make sure you bring some type of um, portable phone charger with you because you are definitely going to want that. You're going to be using it. I used it, I think, a couple times. I had to take a couple breaks to recharge my phone, but I'm also the kind of person that takes videos of like everything, like every artist, every song. I was like, yeah, I love you. If you're the kind of person that just like turns off their phone and doesn't use and won't use it the entire festival, then then you're fine. You won't need that. I believe if you are renting a locker, um, it comes with a free charger, I think. Because you won't have internet, I would recommend um, taking a screenshot of the schedule of the set list. Or if you're old school like me, just print it out so you have a paper copy and make sure you have a really good game plan of what you plan, who you plan to see that day. The morning of the festival, I sat down at breakfast. We went to like a great breakfast spot and I sat down and we all like, we all sat down together with the schedule printed out in front of us and we just like circled which artists that we wanted to see. I think there's like, there's four stages, right? Three or four stages. So four artists could be performing at the same time. So you really wanna make sure like you have already decided who you wanna see. Last year, I like, I remember I printed out the schedule and it was great cause like as soon as an artist finished, I could like bust it out from my pocket and be like, okay, let's see three o'clock. All right, the brat is going on now on that stage. Let's go. It was very easy to figure out like where to go next. Cause I ran into so many people who were like, who's over there? Who's over there? Like, do you know what time t pains going? Like y'all better get your shit together before you get there. I would definitely wear comfortable shoes. It is not a fashion show. Actually it is it is a fashion show outfit wise, but we're like all over 30 there. Like no one gives a what shoes you're wearing. But let me tell you that I got stuck in that stampede last year. I was hauling jumping fences. You know, it's not gonna happen this year, but let me just tell you, I was real happy to be wearing sneakers at that moment. They do have a clear bag policy. I think it was like, if your purse 
is like six inches by nine inches or smaller, they will allow it, but anything bigger than that needs to be clear. I'm gonna be bringing my clear fanny pack that I used last year, and my husband's gonna bring the clear backpack. And what am I gonna put in it? Here's my list here. I'm gonna have my cooling towel. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna need to use that, but hand sanitizer, my portable phone charger, ibuprofen, travel size sunscreen, no non-aerosol, they do not allow aerosol products in there, um, tissues, wet wipes, it's gonna be porta potties for the general admission people, hydration packets, I'm gonna bring a little handheld fan, like a portable fan, I'm gonna be wearing my hat, and chapstick, don't forget to put your sunscreen on before you get there, and um, deodorant as well, because I'm telling you some people were not wearing that last year. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, I think that's it. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna have great weather, hopefully, hopefully, no rain. I am getting in there Friday night, so um, maybe I'll see you Friday night, mm -mm -mm. or else I'll see you at the festival.